Welcome, welcome to Crafty with Pui Designs. In this video, I'm going to sublimate a passport cover and a luggage tag. Here you see I have them. I also have a paper, a pencil, and a ruler. Uh, on the paper, I'm going to write down the measurements of the template that I need to create to press the image on them. So I will write down for the passport cover the height and the width. And for the luggage tag, the height and the width. So you will see how I design this template and you can do it too for any other um, sublimation blank that you may have. Okay, I'll take my passport cover and my ruler and I'll place it here and I'll measure the white part of the passport cover. And it's about something over 3.50, 3.5 but we're going to take um 3.875 3.875 so that's that's what i'm going to put for the width 3.875 inch okay mm -hmm. and i'll write it down so that i don't forget it you can do the same okay you see passport cover 3.875 now we're going to do the height and the height is about almost to six inch and so i'm just gonna put the height six inch when i measure it it's close to six inch five something so i'm going to put six inch because the template should be a little bit uh, bigger than the than the substrate itself the item you're going to sublimate on. Um, luggage tag. The length is, I mean the height is 4 inch. It's 4 inch. So I think I will do 4.25 inch. And that will work. Yeah, 4.25 because it's exactly 4 inch. And the width is 2.75. So I'm going to do it on 3. I'll take 3 inch for that. Do you know that a template, like I said, a template is uh, a little bit bigger than your item that you're going to sublimate. Okay. Okay, here we are in Silhouette Studio. I'm going to show you how to create like put it together really quick the passport cover and the luggage tag how to um i'm going to merge in my images in here we have the measurements passport is six inch for the height 3875 for the width luggage tag three for the width three inch for the width and 4.25 zero for the height i'll show you how to do it um i'll bring my images in here Okay, I'll bring this one here, right here, and then I'll bring in my background, I think I have this one right in here. Okay, um, I'm gonna make, I'm going to make a box, I'm going to make only one box, and this is the passport cover, okay, um, we go here, we had six for the height, six inch for the height, and for the width, 3.875. Okay, this is the passport cover. Um, okay, I'll make this image bigger. I'll make it bigger, I'll drag it. Okay, and I'll put the passport cover over it. You can choose where you want it to be. We're going to crop it really quick. Um, let's say I want it here. So I'm going to make my passport port cover smaller so that it can fit on the inside. If you want this side, you can take it. If you want this side, you can take it. But don't forget, um, this uh, the template is a little bit bigger than the passport itself. So you need to take the bleed into consideration, like the the sides into consideration. Now I have this. I I want this as the background. Right in here, I put a template box on top of it, and then I'm going to select both. 
and I'll go to object modify and crop so I have only this okay now I'm going to fit the lady inside drag it and put it here so let's bring it to the front put her here it's up to you how big you want her to be like here how big you want her to be okay uh, let's say I'll, I'll, I'll leave her here she shouldn't um reach the the bottom too much because um some of the place will be cut off okay now i'll go to the text really quick i'll go here and i'll write down travel i want the words travel in pink so i'll i'll do it like this in pink you don't have to do it like this but i'll just give you an idea and i'll put my name let's see I'll go back. Actually, my name is Agra. <laughs> Agra. Woo. Okay, travel. I'll go to my, I don't go here and I'll change my font. You can change in whatever you want. I'll change it to Queen Keys. The pink, whatever you want. Yeah, this one. And the in. I just chose something, yeah, right here. Travel and pink. For my last name, I chose a fat one. Okay, in this case, I'll choose this one. And for my, mm, 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 okay. And then I'll make them smaller. Fit these two here together. Okay. And then I color it, fill it in with pink, and then I fill this in with black. You don't have to weld anything here or drag anything, no. It's not a SVG, it's just for printing. I'll group them together, and then I'll put offset for them really quick. Offset, and I'll make my offset white. This is just my style. You can do, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to put offset. You don't even have to have a pink background. I love pink because I, yeah, put it right here. And this one here, I'll make it black also. Travel, the in. Mm -hmm. And this one, pink. Pink. Okay. Put it here together. Make the travel a little bit bigger. Okay. I group them and I also put the offset. This is just what I like. White offset. Now make it pull. And I'll group everything together. Put it here. And I'll place it here somewhere. Let's make it smaller. Okay, right here. And I'll take the red line out. Okay, now we have it, okay? Always take the border into consideration because your template is bigger than your your um, passport. I'm go I will group all together. And for the um, for this, the luggage tag, let's um, duplicate this. Control B, this here. And then we'll put the sizes in. The height is 4.25. And the width is three. You see, we, we come back, we, we, we get it so good. Let's go in really quick and change only one thing. Okay, here is it. Let me go here and take the red line out. Okay, and now we're gonna ungroup it really quick. And then we move, we can move this to here. Okay, because there, there, there's an opening here and you don't want anything to be cut out. Okay, so. There we have it. Select it, group it, and let's change our page because we're going to print on a small paper like 8.5 by 11. Okay, and you put this here, and you have this here. Fix your print border. Okay, our print border is is okay. We are not cutting anything. Our print border is perfect. 
the luggage tag has two sides so let's create another side for it really quick this is one of the sides i'm just going to um, duplicate it okay i bring it over here and now i will ungroup it ungroup and i will remove this i will remove both of them and then let's zoom in really quick and i'm going to put some lines here like three lines you can go here and draw a line hold shift and draw a straight line okay and then go here up here and right here and then you can thicken the line you see you can make it thicker okay and then i'll make it black or maybe pink let's see no i'll make it black make it black okay i'll bring the line here okay i duplicate it i'll bring it down here duplicate it one more time and bring it down here i'm going to select these lines go here and i'm going to align them really well and yeah just like that and then it's ready for printing let's go print it out here i print out my design as you see i have taped my passport cover already and now i'm going to tape the other one i'm going to tape the luggage tag you see how i tape this one I tape it from the paper to the inside, from the outside to the inside. And I taped it really well, align it really well. And I tape only one side of the luggage tag because I'm going to print one side first. Wait a little bit until it's cold and then I'm going to do the other side. So each side separately. Let's get to sublimating. I put parchment paper and then I put uh, my passport cover with the transfer side up and i cover it again with parchment paper and i press it for 400 degrees for 60 seconds okay and after i press it open it and i'll take it out and check i have a little bit of ink on the paper i'm going to fold it if you want to you can throw it away and put another piece a new piece and then i'm going to put my luggage tag right there with the transfer paper up Cover it again with parchment paper and press it for 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to um, take it out and I'm going to throw away that other paper down there because it's full with ink. I don't want my thing to stain. Okay. And now I'm going to put a new one, new piece of parchment paper. And I'm going to wait until it's cold and then I'm going to do the other side. Okay, but let's see the side that is done look it came out really well but it's still hot it came out really really well i love it so let's do the other side now i'm going to tape the transfer like the sublimation paper on the blank side tape it really well and then i'm gonna press it cover it with parchment paper and press it for 400 degrees for 60 seconds and here we are let's go moment of truth now let's go see how our work came out and um, this is the luggage tag i'm going to take off this paper from it and see how it did wow it did really well look at that you see the whole thing is sublimated because the template is good so if you use the technique i showed you how to design your own template and you do that your work will come out really, really well. Look at the color. This is Pui Sublimation paper and Pui Sublimation ink. Okay, let's go to the passport cover itself. Let's open and see what we have. Drum roll. Look at the color. Look how beautiful it is. Look, you see that like, the template is good. Look at the color. This is Pui Sublimation paper and Pui Sublimation ink. If you need those, you need to get those look at the passport cover and the luggage tag look how beautifully they are sublimated because i have created a very good uh, template for them if you do it like i show you in silhouette studio it will come out really really well and now i'm going to uh, 
put the strap on it and this you can hang on your luggage you can hang on your bag um on anything that that uh you carry you can hang it on it looks so cute so 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 cute look at that let me know in the comment section if you're going to try this and i will link the class of the travel bag right up here thank you for watching